Welcome to Expert Medical Coding. In today's video, we're going to learn about small ball obstruction. We're going to see what is small ball obstruction is, types of small ball obstruction, symptoms, causes, complications, diagnostic tests, treatment options, and precautions. So let's get started. What is small ball obstruction? A small ball obstruction is a partial or complete blockage in the small intestine. Now let us see the types of small ball obstruction. There are four types of small ball obstruction. They are complete small ball obstruction, partial small ball obstruction, strangulated small ball obstruction, and closed loop small ball obstruction. Complete or high grade obstruction indicates no fluid or gas passes beyond the site of obstruction. Incomplete or partial obstruction indicates some fluid or gas pass beyond the obstruction. Strangulated obstruction indicates that blood flow is compromised, which may lead to intestinal ischemia, necrosis, and perforation. Closed loop obstruction an obstruction in which two points along the course of a bowel are obstructed at a single location, thus forming a closed loop. Now, let us see the symptoms of small ball obstruction. They are Crampy abdominal pain that comes and goes, loss of appetite, constipation, nausea and vomiting, inability to have a ball movement or passing gas, abdominal bloating, swelling of the abdomen, dehydration, malaise, and diarrhea. Now, let us see the causes of this condition. The first cause is the intestinal adhesions. Bands of fibr fibrous tissue in the abdominal cavity that can form after abdominal or pelvic surgery. Second cause is the hernia. Segment of the intestine may break through a weakened section of the abdominal wall. This creates a bulge where the ball can become obstructed if it is trapped or tightly pinched in the place where it pokes through the abdominal wall. Next cause is the inflammatory disease. Inflammatory bowel disorders such as Crohn's disease or diverticulitis can damage parts of the small intestine and can cause small ball obstruction. The other causes are colon cancer, twisting of the intestines also called as volvulus and intersusception. Now let us see the complications. Untreated intestinal obstruction can cause serious life-threatening complications including tissue death. Intestinal obstruction can cut off the blood supply to part of your intestine. Lack of blood supply causes the intestinal wall to die. Tissue death can result in a tear, also called as perforation, in the intestinal wall, which can lead to infection. Second complication is the peritonitis. Perit peritonitis is a medical term for infection in the abdominal cavity. It's a life-threatening condition that requires immediate medical and often surgical attention. Now let us see the diagnostic test. Physical examination. The doctor will examine the abdominal area for signs of swelling, pain, masses, bulges or hernias, surgical scars or tenderness. The diagnostic test performed is X-ray. To confirm a diagnosis of intestinal obstruction, your doctor may recommend an abdominal X-ray. Next diagnostic test is the CT scan. A CT scan combines a series of X-ray images taken from different angles to produce cross-sectional images. These images are more detailed than a standard X-ray and are more likely to show an intestinal obstruction. Now let us see the treatment options. Your doctor will give you medicine and fluids through a intravenous line. They may also run a thin tube through your nose and into your stomach. This is called a NG tube. It lets out fluids and gas to ease your symptoms. And also physician will give you antiemetics. Medications may be required to relieve nausea and vomiting. And the next treatment option for partial obstruction is if you have an obstruction in which some food or fluid can still get through, you may not need further treatment after you have been stabilized. Doctor may recommend a special low fiber diet that is easier for your partially blocked intestine to process. Now for treatment for complete obstruction is if nothing is able to pass through your intestine, you'll usually need surgery to relieve the blockage. 
surgery typically involves removing the obstruction as well as any section of your intestine that has died or is damaged. Next treatment option is stent placement. Your doctor may recommend treating the obstruction with a self-expanding metal stent. The wire mesh tube is inserted into your intestine via an endoscope passed through your mouth or colon. It forces open the intestine so that the obstruction can be cleared. Now let us see the precautions. Eat small amounts of food several times a day. Do not eat three large meals. You should space out your small meals. Add new foods back into your diet slowly. Take sips of clear liquids throughout the day. Please like, share and subscribe to Expert Medical Coding. Thanks for watching.